Previously on Beauty and the Geek Australia, eight awesome women. My favourite feature would be my smile. And eight awestruck geeks. I've never been kissed, never had a girlfriend, never had a date. Not through a lack of trying. Paired up for the start of a fascinating experiment. This is Kara. I'm just absolutely melted. This would never happen to me in real life. The geeks had to design bikinis for a beauty pageant. No. Oh, my God. That's a top. Welcome to Mika. While the beauties grappled with the science of flight. Fly, geek, fly! He fell like splat. At the mansion, the geeks were learning that chemistry doesn't just happen in the lab. I do have a tiny crush. I think a lot of the guys in the house do. Really? Yeah. Nicola and Stuart lost the quiz and left the mansion. Do you want? Tonight. <laughs> a rude shock in store for the beauties. Witchetty grubs. Giant burrowing roaches. In the scariest ever challenge. <laughs> Yuck. The geeks learn how to mix socially. And look who's keeping Kara company. It'd be really nice if I could get to know you a little bit better. Tim and Dan both have the same plan. Maybe I have a small crush on her. It's a bit of a love triangle. I'm not really sure what I do from here. There's a $100,000 first prize up for grabs as we bring together the beauty and the geek. She's so cool and she's so right. She's a princess and I'm a fright. She's so sexy and I'm so silly. Makes me dizzy. She's so pretty. Morning beauties. How are you going, Brooke and Ali? Wake up in the morning with ladies in the room, twins as well. There's been worse ways to wake up in the morning. How do you slice these things? It was a new week and I don't know what came over me, but I just decided to make to make a breakfast in bed. I feel like I'm soaring through cement here. And I go for that thing down. Ow! Oops. Okay. I walked in with the tray and there was a champagne glass with a nice purple flower in it. Which unfortunately did tip over. Tamika, hun, darling, love. I was having a beautiful sleep and I heard Tamika, Tamika, and I was like, what? Oh my gosh, did you make that? Yes. And there's Thomas with a whole breakfast like made out for me. Oh my gosh, I could not believe it. Like, no one's done that for me for so, so, so long. Do you want to join me? Okay. Yeah. Shall I put this just uh, here? Yeah, put it here. Okay. Thomas has the most sweetest heart you'll ever meet in a guy. And what's even, like, funnier, like, he doesn't even know it. Like, he doesn't even know how much of a big heart he has. Mm? I really thought my heart, heart rate would be a lot higher than this. I just started to check my pulse rate. I thought it'd be, mu I thought it'd be much higher. Mm. I guess it was almost inevitable that I was going to have feelings for Tamika. She's just, from start to finish, a wonderful human being. You've done so much. She's so beautiful. I'm sure I not... honestly don't know what the feelings are. I have no idea. So I am stepping into very blind territory here. I don't know if it's a crush, if it's love. I have no possible clue as to what it is. Seven thinks I'm a bit of a weirdo because I keep talking in my sleep. I'm like, hey, sexy, in my sleep. Have I said anything to you? No. No? I'm kind of waiting for when you do. We walk in through the big double doors and our second challenge is laid out before us. A martini glass with some kind of 
horrid green liquid and a gigantic pink calculator. I hate maths. I hate it. I don't know if alcohol and maths mix that well. We could be calcoholics. <laughs> I'm probably one of the few people who could combine the two. I have been known to have a few drinks and then try and show off my quadratic formula skills. Hello, everyone. Hi, Bernard. Geeks, your challenge this week is all about applied science. Now, you may know how chemicals react together in a test tube, but which drinks mix well together in a cocktail shaker? I don't know any of the fancy drinks out there, so I'll just stick to the good old ginger beer. While the geeks are behind the bar, beauties, you'll be working on your figures. No, not your abs or your glutes. I'm talking about advanced arithmetic. Oh no, this is going to be bad. <laughs> What's arithmetic? I don't want to ask Bernard, because I didn't want to seem like a bit of a dip. What's arithmetic? Mathematics. Or maths. I see a point to maths. Like, you need it for you go to drive through and you, you know, you got to count everything to make sure that they gave you all your burgers. So you need maths every day. <laughs> One plus one is one. <laughs> two plus two is two. <laughs> so, as always, by winning this week's challenge, you and your partner will be safe from this week's elimination. You will also have the power to nominate another couple to send through to the elimination room. Now, with George and the twins, as only one twin can compete, this week, it's Brooke. Brooke's definitely better at math. Well, I was always in the higher level than Ellie for it at school. Yeah. So, don't forget your study materials. Beauties, your numbers are up next. If x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0, we can find x using the quadratic formula, which is one of my favourites. As soon as we got our study guides, we went outside and went through so, the basics of the arithmetics or whatever we have to learn. What about... Jessie didn't even know what arithmetic was. I believe her response was, arithma what? <laughs> how, how are you with addition? What's that? One times two is... Two? Two times two is... Four. Seven. <laughs> this is... Like $40. In order to try and teach Tamika mathematics, I decided to use percentages and fractions in the form of discounts and clothing sales. Going to be on sale, yes. and it's going to be 50% off. 75% off. clothing assistant? As we arrive at the challenge, I see Bernard. He had this cheeky little smirk and we're like, oh no. Welcome, beauties. <laughs> they say there's safety in numbers. You might question that after you find out what today's challenge is. <laughs> Many people find the very idea of maths scary in itself. But today, you will be combining maths with Creepy crawlies. Please, welcome. The cockroach. No. <laughs> Yuck. I hate cockroaches. I can't do cockroaches. <coughs> Some people have arachnophobia, but I think I have a cockrophobia. Daniel told me that they're going to outlive us if there's a nuclear bomb. Cockroaches will live. We won't. That's creepy. Witchetty grubs. Oh! Spiny leaf mimics and Goliath stick insects. What is this? <laughs> Giant burrowing roaches. Oh, no. oh. And the creepiest of all the crawlies. Golden orb spiders. 
that. Now, they are each worth a different number of points. Your challenge is to collect a total of 100 points by transporting the creepy crawlies from their present location one by one into your containers in front of you. I don't want to do this. Beauties, it's time to face up to those fears. I really wanted to win this challenge and like I'm freaked out about spiders so I really needed to overcome my fears. The first beauty to score exactly 100 points wins the challenge. No gloves, no safety goggles, it's just you and the bugs. Oh. I was just freaked out by it completely. I was mortified. Oh. Your time starts now. <laughs> As soon as I see a cockroach, I'm like, ah! Oh my god, cockroach! I like freak out. Go, 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 go! The girls were running around, a bit like in a dinosaur stampede, just like something had spooked them. It wasn't normal. It wasn't natural for me to touch it. From the sidelines where the gigs were, all we could hear was one long, insistent. Etc. Go, 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 go. I was running and screaming like the biggest girl. Go, go. go. Oh my god! Go, 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 go. Well done. Well done, ladies. Oh my god. I just thought, get one of each and then get the rest of the points happening. As soon as I put myself in that mind frame, I wasn't being scared. What are you doing? It's such a cockroach. Just a cockroach. The others just appeared to be just dashing. And Eleanor May was just sort of walking around, just like, no insects for me today. Pick up one. Nothing you say will make me touch it seriously. No. Eleni. There's nothing in this world that would make me touch them. It's just disgusting. Try. You try. You do get it. I, I'd love to, but I can't. It's not my challenge. I was not touching those stupid little things. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god. Eleni. <laughs> I know that if I focus, I will be able to get through this challenge. That's it, Cara. Come on. Go, 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 go. Looking at the rate of bug transfer, I'm pretty sure that Cara's got this one in the bag. Doing so well. Again. Again. <laughs> Tamik was absolutely on fire. She was fantastic. She had an absolute raw determination. i never seen her like that before. <laughs> No one would want to go for the spiders, so I thought, well, if you don't want the spiders, I'll have them. Just, just grab it and put it in. <laughs> Bro, just take it. I walked over to the grubs, because I was like, they're just, they don't bite or anything, I don't think. They don't? don't no. Do they have a face? <laughs> they what? Do they even have a face? They, yeah, they have head. They, oh, okay. they have a face. <laughs> I look to my right and there are maybe four bugs between all of the beauties down there. But to my left, Kara and Tamika are really blitzing it. Both of them are going full bore. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Tamika was off her face running. She's like woman versus wild. <laughs> beauties, stop what you're doing. Tamika, do you think you're finished? Yes. At the end when Tamika called out stop, it was quite amusing because Kara was three quarters of the way back with her final bug, a leaf insect, climbing all over her hand. She was visibly shaking because she knew she had to wait just in case Tamika's total was wrong. Has she got it? Hasn't she got, she got it? Have I lost this with just a second to go? Let me see if you are correct. You have a spiny leaf mimic. When Bernard was adding all the insects up, my heart had just stopped. I thought I had it added up to 100, but I didn't entirely know. And we have three golden orb spiders, which are worth 60 and 40, adds up to 100. Oh my gosh, I could not have been more relieved. I was so thrilled. I was extremely proud. I thought that was fantastic of her. That she had a real integrity to her. I'm proud of myself. Like, I've actually overcome something that I never thought I'd, I would do. Oh my god, I touched a spider. Congratulations, Tamika. 
you and Thomas are now through to the next round and have the power to nominate another couple to send through to the elimination room. Well done. Right, beauties, back to your stations. Now, I have a one-time special offer. Oh my God. The challenge has been won and we all think it's over, but Bernard comes out with another showstopper. One beauty can guarantee themselves and their partner a free pass into next week. <laughs> I had a pretty good idea of what this was going to involve. <laughs> By eating one of these. Oh, yeah. Uh... One beauty can guarantee themselves and their partner a free pass into next week. <laughs> I had a pretty good idea of what this was going to involve. <laughs> By eating one of these. <gasps> oh, yeah. Uh... These are live witchetty grubs. <laughs> The first beauty to finish eating the witchetty grub will guarantee herself and her partner safe passage through to next week. Beauties, are you ready? I look over at Donna's face and she's got her game face on. She was ready. She was psyching herself up to eat this. And I just knew if I didn't try that somebody was going to get the immunity and there was a really good chance that I'd be going home. In five, four, three, two, one. Oh no, these beautiful girls, they would not do that. Go! Next minute, we had like the heads going off. <laughs> Donna and Kara were the only ones brave enough to have a go. Maybe they were hungry. <laughs> oh. The second I put it into my mouth, I thought, oh my God, what am I doing? I looked down on it and I could just see its face. And I started to be like, oh, it looks so nice. It looks so cute, I can't do it. I knew I had to just do this really quick, otherwise I would get halfway through and maybe vomit it back up. <laughs> yes! 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 Everyone was so impressed. Dan was impressed and, you know, I wanted to show him, like, look at what you've got, you know? <laughs> Not just a pretty face. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm going to be thick. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. we have a winner. <laughs> it was very, very close. Oh, God, please between Donna oh my God. and Cara. Oh my God, I knew it. Please, 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 I hope I've won this. And the winner with safe passage through to next week. <laughs> Cara. <laughs> Seeing both the physical and mental and emotional strength that this woman has, I think I have some kind of feelings for Cara. needed some practice for their challenge coming up, so they had a professional in to help them out. So you guys are going to learn how to do a little bit of flare bartending, and it's not as easy as it looks, so... <laughs> Come on! We were thinking this is kind of stuff that you look like you'd need to work in a circus to be able to do. So, first thing we're going to learn is your basic cycle. So we're just going to go around like this and throw a spin in. <laughs> So just, just like that. Oh, yeah, okay. Just yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> You're good. It was very, very confusing at first as I'm trying to do vector equations in my head, figuring out where the resultant torques really need to be placed. Centrifugal force. Oh, George, you dropped it. Failure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and I kind of look sexy. <laughs> oh, no. As we were watching all the boys make the cocktails, we were thinking to ourselves, we should really have a cocktail party. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that lemonade? Yeah. 
You might be able to help me in the challenge. The party was uh, very interesting. Everyone got into mixing up some few drinks and all of us blokes got practicing our flaring technique. Just to show off to the ladies. Bring it down and repeat. I think slowly as the days go on, everyone's becoming more closer and crushes are starting to develop. Daniel likes Kara, but then Tim likes Kara. So it's a bit of a love triangle. I'm incredibly attracted to um, Kara's eyes uh, and her smile. She smiled at me and my heart melted. Kara and Daniel. <laughs> There's love in there. This is obviously very, very awkward. I wanted to talk to her in order to gain an insight into how she was feeling. Uh, towards me. So I decided it was time to have a small chat with Kara. <laughs> uh, um, okay, um, look, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying spending time with you. And, um, <laughs> I was incredibly, incredibly nervous. It'd be really nice if I could get to know you a little bit better. Okay. This is so awkward. I do have feelings for you, and I personally think that we can get to know each other independent of our partners. But, like, I'm putting myself out there. I, I, I'm not really good at this kind of stuff. I just want to yeah. get to know you better. Yeah, we will. We, we will, like, I'm sure we can find time to hang out and stuff and get to know each other. Well. <laughs> I guess on a scientific level, um, when I see Kara, uh, neurotransmitters uh, flood through the cell membrane into the synaptic cleft, uh, which would then prompt uh, my response of, uh, of uh, feeling towards her, I guess. <laughs> With well, the beauty's challenge over, it's now time for the geeks to shine. arrived at the Star City Casino for a cocktail challenge. To me, it looked like uh, we were all Hawaiian tennis players. Hello, geeks. Hello. Welcome to Star City, world renowned for its entertainment and hospitality, where we're all kicking back with a pool party. <laughs> now, I know you've all been working hard practicing your drink making skills, but this challenge is here to test your all-round expertise in the area of hospitality. You're all about to become first class cabana boys. <laughs> which means applying sunscreen, providing massage, mixing cocktails. If they require it, you provide it. So geeks, your customers await. <laughs> So us girls walked out onto the balcony and we looked straight down and we could see all the guys waiting for their customers to arrive. Looking around and seeing um, how amazingly beautiful these ladies were, I was incredibly excited, yet ridiculously nervous. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Hello? Can you tell me down? <laughs> Um. Okay, there, how are you going? Hi, I'm good. Are you my cabana boy? I could be. Oh, you I could, could be. be. Oh, hello. Would you like to take a seat? I was standing by awaiting the arrival of my customer. Are you my cabana boy? Ah, uh, yes, my name's Daniel, and I'll be your oh. cabana boy this lovely afternoon. Oh, my God. <laughs> I saw Daniel helping out a elderly lady. I chuckled to myself. All right, time to find a sexy lady to give a massage to. I looked around excitedly and... Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> G'day. <laughs> How you going? I'm Michael. I'll be um, helping you out with whatever you want today. Great, Michael. How's this one? 
When David gets a little bit nervous, I think he starts to talk to himself a bit. Okay, okay, there you go. Yeah. Well, certainly. All right. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I, I haven't done anything like that before, and I had no idea where my hands were going. Oh my god. Where would you like it? Would you like me to do your back? <laughs> he ripped off his board shorts and was wearing a pair of budgie smugglers. <laughs> Very Tony Abbott style. Oh. <laughs> Michael, you're I've got a callus there which has been rubbing on my shoe. Oh, yeah. Could you just give that a bit of a rub? It'd be a real help to me because it, when I've got my shoe on, it hurts. I deal with test tubes. I deal with cells. I don't deal with calluses. Have you seen my ring? Your ring? Yeah, my ring. It's like a diamond ring. Have you seen my diamond ring? Adam. No. Um, but I can have a look for it. Could you jump in the pool and have a look for me? I'm sorry, I've just got all this stuff on my face. I, it's like a diamond ring, a silver diamond ring. Can right. you jump in and have a yep. look for me? Yep, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> um, so I didn't worry about anything. It was one of our customers, and customers are always right. Um, oh has anyone seen a diamond ring in here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how to do massage properly? Um, I'm fairly new to the job. He then asked me if I could help him with some stretches. Keep it coming? Yep. Yeah, good. Wow. I was awkwardly positioned right above his crotch. Wow, you're flexible. Will we keep you going? Is that ready? Oh, thank you so much. No worries. Oh. No worries. Oh. So cute. It was time to move on to the next part of the challenge, which was the flare tending. Shaking it up. Shake, shake, shake. Da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. We took it in turns to make a cocktail that suited our beauty's personality. I named it the Sack Boy. Determination. The troublemaker. I called them double trouble. And I'm, hey, I'm even left handed and I can still do it. Are you really? Oh! I was kind of left throwing bottles around, hoping that I could catch them. Yeah. Quickly transpired that I couldn't. Sip into this you one. Throw it really high, but higher. Oh! Even higher than that? Yeah. Whee! Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's about as high as it goes. <laughs> Gravity is a harsh mistress. Let me show you this. A bit of a show. So. Or a song or something. A bit of a song? Yes. Right. I am making a cocktail for Lauren. Mm. It is going to be fruity and fun. Yay. And maybe when I serve it to Lauren, she will find that it's the best one. Hey, oh, there you go. Wonderful. All right. I threw a bit of strawberry liqueur in there, some crushed strawberries. Half a shot of gin, half a shot of Vodka, let it pour, and then I shake it. I thought there was a lot of happy juice in that. Delicious. Ooh. Surprisingly like apple crumble. It's quite nice. Yeah. yeah. Please be gentle. And how is it? Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest miracle of the day. The time for our challenge ended at that point. <laughs> so, geeks, at the end of a long day at the pool, congratulations. My guests were keeping a very close eye on the geeks and have marked their efforts accordingly. Daniel and Marlon, please step forward. It was a close race between the two of you. But the winner of the Cabana Boy Challenge is Marlon. I don't know quite how to explain it, just a huge wave of relief swept over me. Marlon, congratulations. You and your partner, Eleni May, are now safe from elimination. 
and we'll have the power to nominate another couple to send through to the elimination room. Thank you, Bernard. With today's challenge over, with fantastic weather and a beautiful sky, I thought this would be a better time than ever to show Kara a little bit about my world and maybe show her what I do. Ah, the lilies. Tim decided he had a little surprise for me. So I thought we might have a look at some stars yeah. and I'd show you what was really up there. Okay. And I thought he showed me all these beautiful constellations and all the gorgeous stars and told me a little bit of the history that I had no idea about. When did you decide that you wanted to learn about the stars and everything? I think I've always wanted to learn, because you just look up and they're there. To see Tim's face sort of light up, it was a really lovely night and so nice that he did that. Thanks for this, Tim. It's okay. It's lovely. It's like you to feel good about yourself. No, it's beautiful. It's really nice. I don't think that Kara is completely oblivious to the fact that maybe I have a small crush on her. I have a sneaking suspicion that Kara might actually be interested in Daniel, which is pretty heartbreaking. Especially because Daniel does seem to flirt a lot with the other girls as well. Good night. Good night. To be quite honest, I'm not really sure what I do from here. I guess I'll just wait it out. Walking down those stairs, and having to nominate someone for elimination was horrific. I felt absolutely sick. All I wanted to do was curl up in a ball and cry. I don't want anyone to go. I don't want to kick anyone out. Hello, everyone. Hi, Bird. Here we are again at nomination. Tamika, you overcame your fear of maths and creepy crawlies to win the first challenge. Well done. And Marlon, you showed first class hospitality to win your challenge. Congratulations. Thanks, Bernard. But this means that each of you and your partners must choose one team each to send through to the elimination room. Tamika and Thomas. Who do you nominate for elimination and why? As you all know that it's not a pleasant uh, position to be in. Um, <clears throat> neither of us want any of you to leave and it is with tremendous regret and sadness that we have to nominate anybody. So here goes. There is one geek who we feel has not completely opened up to as many of the beauties as he could have and perhaps even should have, that he's still been somewhat closed off. So that's why we are nominating David and Lynette. It is pretty disappointing. I think the fact that it just came down to personal liking and how well you get along with a person shows just how hard it actually was and how close we are together as a group and as a family. And Lynette? I knew it was coming. <laughs> Marlon and Eleni May. In the end, it came down to our feeling that this couple had the most going for them and thereby would grow the least from the total experience. I'm sorry, um, Dan and Donna, but we have chosen you. I believe that if I leave now, there will be unfinished business, so to speak, in the house, and that relationships that perhaps uh, could have blossomed uh, will not. Daniel, if you were to go home tonight, is there a particular beauty in the house that you would miss more than the others? Um, I think I'd miss, miss everyone, and 
uh, their own separate way. I will always cherish having friendships with every single one of them. As such, I'll miss everyone equally. A diplomatic answer. Thank you, Bernard. I think that maybe if Daniel does leave, the house will be a little bit calmer and that will mean that Cara can be a little bit happier and that's all I really want. Daniel and Donna, David and Lynette, you guys will be facing off in the elimination room. By the end of tonight, one of you two couples will be leaving us here at the Beauty and the Geek Mansion. So, pack your things, say your goodbyes, try and fit in some last minute study if you can, and I'll see the four of you in the elimination room. I'm up to page 91 and I've got 342 to go. <laughs> I have confidence in you, Lynette. But I have been studying and David's been studying, so the, hopefully we're studying the right stuff. Um, I don't know, it's really hard because how do you go from never learning this to like learning it in an hour? In the inside, I'm I'm kind of freaking out. This is my number one worst ever subject and Lynette's a lot smarter in maths than me, so I'm pretty nervous. Donna, Daniel, Lynette and David, Welcome to the elimination room. You will each be asked a series of questions. The team that answers the most questions correctly stays. The losing team will leave the mansion and the competition immediately. Gentlemen, you'll be going first. Ladies, if you'd like to retire to the viewing room where you can watch your partners. You will each receive two questions on the subject of hospitality. David, you'll be going first. Please choose a number. I'll have number two, thanks Bernard. According to your study material, the traditional Long Island iced tea has five different types of alcohol in the recipe. Name the five types of alcohol. Five different rum, uh, vodka, whiskey, vodka, whiskey, Long Island iced tea, um, triple sec. Oh my god! And come on, come on. According to your study material, the traditional Long Island iced tea has five different types of alcohol in the recipe. Name the five types of alcohol. Five different rum, uh, vodka, whiskey, um, triple sec. Oh my God. And, yep, yeah, it's not coming to me. Sorry, you didn't get that question right. The correct ingredients were vodka, rum, gin, triple sec, and tequila. All right, Daniel, your first question. Please choose a number. Number one, thanks, Bernard. According to Slim Dusty, who does he like to have a beer with and why? I thought it was a song, I'd like to have a drink with Duncan, because Duncan is my mate. I've absolutely no clue. Do a stab in the dark, it would be his brother. The correct answer is Duncan. Told you. Because well Duncan is Duncan my mate. Is his mate. 
So, after your first questions, you're both on zero points. David, your second question. I'll take number four, please, Bernard. What are the three actions involved in consuming a tequila slammer and in the correct order? What is it? Salt, shot, lemon. I would say... Come on, come on. Uh, drop, mix and drink. That's incorrect. The correct answer is lick the salt, <sighs> sip the tequila, and bite the lemon or oh, lime. Suck. Suck. A lemon Suck or a lime. Lemon lime. Daniel, one number left. What cocktail was made famous by Sex and the City? Cocktail, Dan. Come on. Come on, Dan. The Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan is correct. At the end of two questions each, Daniel, you're on one point. David, you're on zero points. Ladies, if you'd care to join us in the elimination room. It's down to you two. You will each receive two questions on the subject of numbers. Lynette, you'll be going first. Please choose a number. Two, please. Come on, Lynette. How many wives did King Henry VIII of England have? I'm gonna take a stab in the deep, deep dark. <laughs> I'll say. Three. Oh, he had more than that, I know. The correct answer is six. So, Donna, if you get this question correct, you have won the elimination round. Come on, Donna. Um, one. Good girl. What century do we live in? What? Oh, Donna, come on, this one's easy. Oh, <laughs> 21st? That is correct. Oh. Well done. Oh, my God. <laughs> well done. So, Donna, with two questions correct, you have won the elimination round and are safe until next week. Congratulations. Gentlemen, if you'd like to join us in the elimination room. Donna and Daniel, you answered two questions correctly, which was enough to win the elimination quiz. Lynette and David, I'm sorry to have to inform you, you're out of the competition and must leave the mansion immediately. Group hug. If I could take one thing away from this, it would be geeks and beauties can work well together. It's just being a whole amazing experience yeah. and I'm really grateful Aww. to have you. Aww. Thanks, Davey. Knuckles. Knuckles. Mm. Next week on Beauty and the Geek Australia. We decided to sneak off for some alone time in the spa. Nobody knows that we kiss. I can't believe my luck. But will Dan's stolen kiss cost him Kara? You lied to me and told me you were pursuing me when you were kissing Ellie. I feel like because I've changed my mind on who I have feelings for, I'm being put on trial for it. You lied to me, to my face. 